Hey everybody and welcome to the channel and today behind me you'll recognize what is perhaps one of the most controversial new vehicles of model year 2023. That would be the Acura Integra. Now this is a press car that I've had as a demo unit for about seven days, which is a pretty good length of time to get some feedback. So let's get a little bit into it and I'll tell you what I think. And getting right into it, this is one of the best places to start is with this graphic here. You might have noticed I'm wearing a black Acura logo t-shirt with the famous 1986 era logo. You might want to stop by the website for Honda Vintage Culture. These guys just re recently released a lineup of Integra themed apparel including this awesome long sleeve hoodie. You can see on the sleeve here it even has the Integra logo. Uh, but present here on the front of it are all five generations. Now again Acura is considering the RSX to be a version of the Integra, of course, because it was sold as an Integra overseas. The nameplate dates all the way back to 1986. This is now my fourth video on this car. The first one would have been from uh, the announcement when the name was coming back, dated last August at the Monterey area Pebble Beach uh, type car week event. Uh, then I went to Los Angeles for the prototype reveal last November and then my most recent video would have been in May when I went to Austin, Texas for the press event and then finally here we are actually getting a car in my hometown to put a few miles on for this week-long stint. So I hope you've enjoyed some of the Integra content but of course nothing can uh, take the place of an actual in-person test drive so I, I encourage you to go check these out uh, in your local area when they're available. I'm going to treat this review kind of like a treasure hunt. So I have placed 10 post-it notes around the car. Do you remember that 1999 movie, 10 Things I Hate About You? We're going to call this 10 Things I Like About the Integra. And uh, we'll just kind of cross those bridges as we come to them. So uh, let's go find them. As we're standing right by it, I really, really am a fan of the lighting, both at the front and the back end of the car. So that's number one. Uh, I had this car on the road yesterday and it has a really amazing presence. And obviously the chicane style light on this car as opposed to some of the other Acura models goes above the jewel eye headlights and has a really cool, almost somebody compared it to kind of like a falcon or a bird sort of uh, motif there ready to pounce. One of the other things I like about the Integra is as opposed to some of the other sort of more common models in the Honda and Acura lineup, there is some exclusivity tied to that. It's a car and a nameplate that most everybody has an, a story about. Everybody at some point in their life has ridden in or owned or known somebody who owned an Integra. And for that reason alone, it generates a lot of cool conversation. And there's some exclusivity tied to having a brand name that perhaps isn't on every single street corner. One of the things I've most enjoyed about this car is this list here, refinement, comfort, and long distance friendliness. So one of my complaints about my current daily driver, which is a 2013 ILX with almost 240,000 miles, is it's a little buzzy at high RPM, it's, it's loud and I'm not quite as insulated on the freeway, but this thing is so quiet, in fact, that sometimes you'll forget to even shift into sixth gear at speed because the cabin is very well insulated from that noise, vibration, and harshness. And you notice the seats, at least up front, have this really cool suede slash Alcantara type of material that is uh, grippy as well as one thing I appreciate here in the desert is it doesn't get scalding hot in the temperatures like we're having today. We found another little token here exterior and interior size. So most of you know that I had a 2021 TLX Type S for about eight or nine months. It was an amazing performance machine. It was just a bigger car from a parking perspective, from a driving perspective. This thing a, feels a little bit more right sized, at least for me. Um, and then along with being a more compact car, it comes with a miles per gallon benefit. So whereas that car was a 355 horsepower, turbocharged V6. This is a 200 horsepower turbocharged inline four and it does quite a bit better on gas. And here's a post-it note right up on the front. Ownership experience. I put this down because they don't talk about it very much but one of the things that's included with every Integra purchase is a two-year 24-month service contract for free. So 
One of the things that Acura prides itself in is TLC or Total Luxury Care. I know my local dealership takes really good care of me. They have a fully stocked customer lounge, loaner cars, shuttle service, you name it. And really part of an owning an Acura is enjoying some of those amenities. My friend in the golf cart wanted to check out the action, but luckily I'm good to go here. By the way, this is my office building that I don't commute to anymore, but you can see it's fairly quiet on a Sunday. Uh, ELS 3D audio, this audio system is banging. You can see over here, the speakers are branded with this nomenclature and it's a really phenomenal system um, for a car that has a great soundstage inside. Since we're seated in here already, let's talk about this one, intuitive controls and quality feel. I've talked about this before, but I'm kind of a, a fan of the look and feel of these knobs and buttons. Um, everything in here is well laid out in the sense that you can kind of get in this car and feel comfortable at a moment's notice without needing to spend a lot of time uh, getting through that learning curve. And all the finishes are quality in nature. Um, I think they did a nice job with packaging here on the inside. Here's one that I'm perhaps the biggest fan of, Gearbox with an exclamation point. This transmission, and it's a shame that manual transmissions are a dying breed because Honda and Acura do such an amazing job with seamless, flawless gearboxes. This thing feels like the ratios are just in the right places, the throws are the right length, and it really brings back the joy of driving again, especially in an era when almost everything is going automatic and electric. Let's talk about this one that's back here. This was kind of a broader comment, but I love that the new Integra is bringing some recognition about the heritage and overall nostalgia for the Integra name. That's important to me because I'm an Acura collector and you'll get a kick out of this uh, canvas print here I had made up. But here at the forefront of the Long Beach Grand Prix, we have this Integra followed by its four predecessors, including, that's my 1989 LS back there, but I think it's really cool that Acura has showcased this car in a manner that really emphasizes those attributes of the earlier Integras. This one is a particularly hot topic, value. A lot of people like to point out that this car and its sibling, the Civic Si on which it's based, are priced quite differently in terms of price, but something to keep in mind, that's nothing new. Back in the day, here's my window sticker for my 1989 Integra, 14,195. A similarly priced 89 Civic LX was just over 10, so a $4,000 gap in the price tag. If you look at that in reference to a 2022 purchase price, the gap between a Civic and an Integra is actually not even as much. Uh, it comes from about 28,000 to 37,000. So keep that in mind when you're talking about drawing a comparison between the two. Even 33 years ago, that was the case. And personally, for a car that offers a little more luxury, a more premium feel and more exclusivity, I think it's well worth the difference in the price tag. I think we might have actually found them all except for one, uh, and it's perhaps the most important here. This car, um, at least from the way I see it, is true to the Integra fundamental packaging. And you'll see this quote here from the Integra press kit that Andrew Quillen uh, dug up. The Integra models are sophisticated sports sedans designed for spirited driving. They're sporty as well as practical with their long wheelbase, wide track, offering stability, uh, comfort, and interior space. In so many words, I kind of paraphrase that but that's very much true with the intent of this car and I think they really did a good job of capturing that while we're back here I'm going to show and tell a couple other random things so this was a picture from uh, back in uh, December when Radwood was hosted by American Honda they had my Integra on display on the grounds in front of the prototype car and that actually this picture anyway made it to the New York Times uh, as a summary article on Radwood, which is one of my favorite events. Now check out these ads, and I think even though these are designed to talk about the first generation, they still apply to this car. The Integra 5-door, proof that the term sedan doesn't have to mean sedate. What about this one? Until now, the thought of having a family car was almost enough to keep you from having a family. Again, speaks to the versatility, the overall sort of common sense theme of this car, even though it's really fun to drive. A descendant of many races. And of course, Acura of late has really been killing it at the racetrack. Super proud of them for that. 
And this car derived some of that success into uh, a vehicle that virtually anyone can own. Folks, we are successful. We got them all. And thanks for coming along for my little treasure hunt. And thanks to Acura for letting me have some seat time with this Integra. So uh, drop a line in the comment section. Let me know what you think. And if you are lucky enough to have bought one of these, uh, let me know how your ownership experience is going. Talk to you guys later. Before I even get too far underway with the Integra, I decided to play around a little bit with the settings in here. So I got to this one via vehicle settings right here. Looks like I have the capability here to talk about lighting, auto high beam, dimming time sensitivity, door and window setup, driving position, meter and head up display, Got a rear seat reminder, which is a big deal these days. Cool stuff. It is very intuitive. But... Welcome to my 1989 Acura Integra LS five door. This is a 118 horsepower, four cylinder, 1.6 liter. And I'm gonna give it all she's got. This car, by the way, is named Paula Abdul. speed manual with 238,000 miles on it. It is 112 chilly degrees outside today in Phoenix. house at the uh, property today we have some really cool cars including Kai's SE Bill and John's Beamer Corey's TL with 388,000 miles there's Derek's Tesla Ken's S2000 Gary's SI Greg's SI Chris's S2K down there somewhere John's Accord Wow we are rocking and rolling there's Vlad's MDX Type S. Giving these guys a uh, sneak peek. Initial thoughts, love it, hate it. Pretty good, I like it. Yeah, the color combo is cool.
89 on display here and we'll make you a killer deal on an NSX if you want one. We got the lineup coming in here at Horny Toad and it's a pretty good mix of cars. We got a couple Civics, an S2000, a Tiguan, and Corey's TL over there. My favorite part about Corey's car is 388,000 on this manual third gen TL. Love it. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you for coming out.